day one of the reinstallation or uh, second installation of the 16 foot tall aqua dam here at Stanislaus River. The first one experienced a tear out on top which eventually caused the baffle seam on the top to rip out and uh, however the coffer dam is still in place beyond uh, that bank but it's not a known quantity so we're going to use a new aqua dam to replace the coffer dam here. This new aqua dam will have seven layers or it has seven layers of outside material as opposed to the original four and uh, as well as the ends will be capped with nine layers of material so hopefully what happened the first time won't happen the second time and we'll get a success on this job this crane is new to being on site it's much larger than the other crane that we had on site and it should be able to lift this aqua dam no problem we're waiting for it to get into position so that our trailer can pull ahead of it and it can be uh, our, the new aqua dam can be lifted up off the trailer and onto the bank where we're starting upstream Here's the starting point for the aqua dam, the new aqua dam. It will start on this bank, go out into the river, turn left, go further downstream, make another 90 degree turn back to the bank, isolating the bank, allowing the new water intake pipes to be built. The rebar for the four new channels is being laid and the wooden molds are being placed around. All of this was excavated between our previous times here. As you can see the excavation continues. The crane is lifting the 16 foot tall, 300 foot long replacement aqua dam so that larger, uh, larger straps can be put down beneath it. These ones are already creaking. The aqua dam is now suspended over the bank where it will start pulling it into position so we can unroll it down the bank.
The aqua dam has now been set down at the top of the bank. The outer wrap will be cut off. The strings holding the aqua dam tied shut will be cut. And then we'll be able to roll it down the bank. Beginning of day two, it is seven in the morning. The aqua dam has been placed on top of the 16 foot tall aqua dam. The crane will be leaving by eight o'clock this morning. So it is imperative that we get this turn made uh, before he leaves. The fill tubes of the 16 foot tall aqua dam are being prepared so that fill hoses can be in, installed or, uh, or placed inside the innermost tube. There's three inner lining tubes, one within the other within the other. And so we fill the innermost one uh, with water on both sides. That's one fill tube and here's the other one. There's the soft hose that we're going to use. I believe that's six inch or eight inch hose. It is now eight o'clock. The two pumps in the basket have been placed in or over the water. The boatmen will be pulling that basket out past the tarp. So the pumps will be able to suck water freely. A hole has been cut in the old 16 foot tall aqua dam to let water out of it and into the work area. As we fill the new aqua dam, the old aqua dam will drain. And that's kind of the point. The pumps have been placed, hose has been ran up the bank and into the fill tubes of the aqua dam. Pumping should start shortly. Fill tubes of the new 16 foot tall aqua dam. Each fill tube has one large hose and one small hose for filling purposes. The large pumps are now running, filling the aqua dam. According to uh, calculations, it should take about five to eight hours to fill this aqua dam with the pumping capacity provided by the contractor. The aqua dam uh, was not pulled sufficiently during the turn because equipment access and availability was minimal. Uh, we attempted to do it with ropes, come alongs, and a jet ski, and uh, that's mostly worked. 
However, we're still pretty far out in the river, so we're going to try to use equipment that comes, uh, that is available on the other side of the pit with ropes going from the tip of the aqua dam over the pit over here and over by where that crane is. And that's how we're going to get our force and leverage to pull on the end of that aqua dam in the direction it needs to go. The excavator is on the other side of the pit here with its arm over the pit pulling on the rope which is attached to the end of the aqua dam down there and we're pulling it back in towards shore because uh, it went out too far out towards the center line of the river when we first came off the bank and made the turn. The turn was too gradual, I think. Here's the aqua dam about two thirds full, continuing to fill and be pulled. Equipment access is still a great challenge. We're currently using a piece of equipment down in the pit to pull on the uh, well to pull on the outside edge of the aqua dam, trying to pull it back closer to shore. Uh, within the limits of a, uh, a limit line. Here's the pit with the concrete channels being poured. The berm, which must be removed before the intake can be completed. And beyond that is the river and the aqua dam being installed. The aqua dam continues to unroll. We are no longer pumping into it. Thus we are increasing its maximum volume while keeping its capacity the same or uh, increasing its total capacity while its volume remains the same. That means that the head of water inside the aqua dam will drop allowing it to be more influenced by water pressures. The work area is being dewatered by several 3-inch electric sump pumps. This will create a negative pressure in the work area. The river will want to push the aqua dam closer to the work area. This is being done because the aqua dam has been installed uh, or the aqua dam path crosses a line that divides half the river or divides the river in twain. Uh, longitudinally. So we can only take up half of the channel of the river. The rest of it has to remain open for water flow, fish flow, etc, etc. So we crossed that line uh, inadvertently, but uh, now we're doing our best to get back over that line. Usually once an aqua dam is in place, it stays in place. Moving it post installation is very rare and unusual. Work area is being pumped down, pushing the aqua dam to shore or closer to shore. The aqua dam continues to unroll. Here's the excavator down in the pit. You got a strap tied to its knuckle. 
and it's going to be pulling the outside edge of the aqua dam there. That worker is uh, combining the two lines right there. The aqua dam is being pulled by a forklift across the pit, from across the pit. The aqua dam is uh, almost completely slack in the water and is drifting in towards the work area through a combination of pulling and pumping down the work area. The aqua dam is completely unrolled and has approximately 1 foot to 18 inches of head in it. That is height of water inside the aqua dam, higher than the surrounding water. There's the open end of the aqua dam where we started. Came off the bank into the river channel over the original 16 foot tall aqua dam. Went downstream and is butting into the bank there at the downstream side. Yes, please. You're good. Not like a treat. Three hundred lineal feet of sixteen foot tall aqua dam, approximately three quarters of a million gallons when full. Yeah. Here we are on day three. The aqua dam has been fully unrolled and partially inflated. The work area is isolated uh, to the extent it can be due to the rocky soil uh, in the river. And now we're working on uh, 
the start of the aqua dam. The aqua dam was installed and allowed to unroll past uh, an invisible line going down the middle of the river called a FERC line. Because of this limitation, we had to be uh, within the FERC line. So uh, to move the aqua dam during installation, we allowed it to uh, lose its head, float in the water, and then we slowly pulled it in place laterally with the use of uh, ropes tied to the bottom seam uh, and equipment on the other side of the pit. When we did that, we pulled this section out of place. Now the aqua dam, uh, instead of the fill tube starting much higher up the bank, they got pulled down at least 10 feet. And the angle to the, to the bank was changed. So now the fill tubes want to pull to the left, which is not ideal. Our solution here is to rewater the work area, dewater the aqua dam, and using a trucking strap and a crane, lifting the open end of the aqua dam, forcing the water contained into the remainder, allowing us to reposition the start of the aqua dam to a more uh, beneficial configuration. Here's the crane that will be used to elevate the open end of the aqua dam, lift it up. The big crane is on site, but there's no operator for it. Work continues on the job site as the crane becomes ready. We're on top of the new aqua dam. The contractor has not learned their lesson from the previous aqua dam and has put several sharp grok chip filled bags on top of the aqua dam. You can see these sharp rocks on top there. These are just like little arrowhead razor knife chips there. And when you walk on them or drag them, well, it cuts right through the fabric. And then when uh, you cut through the fabric, then you're reducing the effectiveness of the weave of the outer material. All those threads pulling on all the other threads. Then you cut it and there's a weak point. From that weak point is where a tear will start. Not good. But there's only the three uh, so far and uh, hopefully there won't be any more. Hopefully they won't drag them. Besides this aqua dam is made with uh, seven layers of outside material instead of the four or the five previously on the uh, old one and the ends have nine layers of material so it should be quite a bit more resistant to um, tearing that had its first cause as abrasion from those rocks still should take them off though a four inch pump has been brought into place its suction hose will be fed into one of the fill tubes of the aqua dam and that pump will be used to dewater the aqua dam uh, with the work area dewatered or less watered. When that happens, the greater water pressures on the outside edge of the bag will uh, hopefully shift the open end of the bag back towards shore after we dewater the aqua dam and lift up the open end with a crane. The sharp screws around the base of the metal fish cage screen uh, are being duct taped over. The inside material of the aqua dam, which holds the water, um, is very thin. So anything rigid that goes into the aqua dam needs to be padded to reduce the chance of accidental puncture inside the aqua dam.
the aqua dam continues to be dewatered. It looks like with the one four inch pump, it will take all day today and some of the day tomorrow in order to dewater the aqua dam uh, sufficiently enough so that we can uh, move it. So looks like we're going to be here for a day four. Monday. Day four of the second Aquadam installation. We're back on site after the contractor dewatered the Aquadam uh, and attempted to move it in our absence. According to them, it came in three feet towards the shore and 11 feet downstream. The outermost tube has been uh, lifted up with the use of an excavator. Here you can see the side of the aqua dam has moved over approximately uh, could be 10 feet more or less, 11 feet. However the angle to the bank is still uh, wrong. Uh, the slack, there's no more slack left in the aqua dam it seems like. Uh, it all kind of scrunched downstream. The fill tubes, when they lifted, um, bundled up all the inner tubing on the inside, making a big bulge or a big ball of material halfway down the slope. So that's what we're working on undoing right now and fi trying to fix. Pulling out those fill tubes so they get them up to the top of the slope, pull the slack out of them up the slope so then we can work the suction hose of the four foot tall, uh, the four foot, uh, four inch pump down into the bag so we can continue to dewater it. It is not dewatered enough for us to lift the end of the aqua dam up to the first corner. If we do that, it'll drain the first third of the aqua dam into the remainder of the aqua dam, raising the head left in the rest of the aqua dam still in the river, not suspended over water. So we need to pump out more water before we do that so that the final contained volume in the aqua dam is less than the capacity required to form a head after we lift the first third of the aqua dam up in the air. So that's what we're doing, baby steps. This green hose is connected to a white PVC pipe which extends into the inside tube of the aqua dam. Uh, I guess the left side, the work area side, fill tube. And that pipe extends all the way down to the water now. The wadded up fill tubes are being pulled up the slope. The suction hose pipe combination for this four inch uh, pump has been inserted into this fill tube and we will use the pump to dewater the aqua dam. The four inch pump is now sucking water out of the aqua dam and discharging it into the greater body of water, the river. This will dewater the aqua dam over time. Here's the rock that was removed from the stream bed. They called it the dagger. 
So very good. Not good to go over something like this and cause damage or uh, reduce the effectiveness of the seal beneath the aqua dam. Now that the rock has been removed from the path of the 12 foot tall aqua dam, which will be installed here in upstream of the 16 footer, we're, we're trying to attach to the first 16 foot tall aqua dam and pull it. Hopefully this will help to pull the currently installed aqua dam uh, in the way that we want it. Straighten out that, that first leg. Guys, this is a device. It's a pallet clamp. The primary 16 foot tall aqua dam has been pulled over using the first 16 foot aqua dam that is loose in the water. The rest of that first 16 foot aqua dam now lays at the bottom of the slope and a 12 foot tall 100 foot long aqua dam is being prepared here at the top of the bank. It will be installed down the bank and along the upstream side of the 16 foot tall aqua dam to give uh, extra support to the fill tubes because of the angle that is being made here uh, with the 16 footer. The 12 foot tall, 25 foot wide, 100 foot long aqua dam has been unrolled into the water down the bank. The fill tubes have been exposed here and now we're just waiting on pumping power so we can fill this 12 footer up. 
This will give added support to the 16 footer so that as the 16 footer fills, the 12 footer will prevent it from leaning upstream again. Beneath the water, there is a slope uh, going upstream. It's a downhill slope going down, going upstream, which is causing the aqua dam to want to uh, follow the slope and uh, fill in the low spot. So here we're bracing the low spot up with the 12 footer to give the aqua dam, the 16 footer, extra support. The open end of the 16 foot tall aqua dam <clears throat> is being pulled over with the use of an excavator and it's being pulled up the slope. This is to take up any slack that exists out there in the flaccid aqua dam. We want to pull the fill tubes up the slope and we want to achieve a better angle between the aqua dam and the bank. This is how we do it. The 16 foot tall aqua dam has been tied off the top back to the bank in a couple places and now they're pulling the fill tubes back up the slope they will unbundle and unball the fill tubes which was a result of lifting with the strap spread out the fill tubes put a uh, discharge hoses inside and uh, begin to fill the 16 footer the 12 footer will be placed next to the 16 footer and also filled There are many outside and inside layers of material in this 16 foot tall aqua dam. Approximately nine outside layers and three or four inside layers. When we lifted the fill end of the aqua dam with the strap, it caused all those layers to bunch up and ball up. And now we are separating them. It takes a little bit of time, but um, it's necessary in order to get a hose down uh, the fill tubes so we can start filling again. fill tubes of the 16 foot tall aqua dam. One is flopped over the other but it's expected to roll to the side uh, and actually it looks like it is doing that right now to the left uh, as the aqua dam fills. Next to it is the fill tubes and partially unrolled roll uh, of 12 foot tall by 100 foot long aqua dam. It will be installed basically where it lays right next to the upstream side of the start of the 16 foot tall aqua dam. This 12 footer is to give additional support to the upstream side of the aqua dam uh, of the primary coffer dam formed by the 16 foot tall aqua dam. This support is necessary because underwater there's a downhill slope to the left which is upstream a downhill slope into a low area so the aqua dam wants to follow that slope uh, while it's filling and so we want to keep it out of that that low area so that we can achieve the maximum height of uh, on the aqua dam. If it goes into a low area the that will limit its height potential because the aqua dam will only be 16 feet tall at its lowest point and the top of the aqua dam stays level. The bottom of the aqua dam conforms to the bottom of the stream bed. So wherever it's the lowest, that's where it's going to fill to capacity first. And then if you try to overfill it past that, you're pressurizing the aqua dam. It's not made for it. And uh, you may uh, experience a failure. The fill tubes of the 12 foot tall aqua dam have been secured with ropes tied back to 
a solid tree far back on the bank. The 12 foot tall aqua dam is being installed. Tie off ropes will be tied off to uh, the bottom seam of the aqua dam and to the top of the 16 foot tall aqua dam to keep it in place. Uh, we're also pulling rope from the edge of the log to the top where an excavator awaits. They will be using the excavator t and the rope to pull on the end of this log to help guide the aqua dam and turn it so that it follows the curve of the 16 footer uh, on the outside. The 16 foot tall aqua dam uh, will be connected to the two six inch pumps in the work area and continue to fill. The two six inch pumps are discharging from the work area into the river proper. Final day of installation, the aqua dam is installed, unrolled and mostly filled. A little bit more pumping will bring the aqua dam to its maximum height of 16 feet tall at its lowest point. Walking the air out of the aqua dam. The air is getting trapped at the big cleat at the inside of the corner. The 12-footer is close to being fully installed, 16-footer needs to uh, build up many more feet in height before it's full. It's close to the end of the installation. All that needs to be done is further pumping to bring both aqua dams to their full rated height. The 12-foot tall aqua dam is installing, the 16-footer 
is uh, installed at a lower than rated height. It will be increased by the contractor in the next day or pumping overnight. This looks like the end of Stanislaus <laughs> River Sandbar Dam project. But you never know. 16 foot tall, 300 foot long aqua dam. And a 12 foot tall aqua dam, approximately 100 feet, 50 to 100 feet unrolled into the water. The remainder of the roll uh, was rolled up at the top of the hill. There's Brian. He uh, was instrumental in making this project work. We have done depth soundings across the end of the 12 foot tall aqua dam and along the side of the 16 foot tall aqua dam. It's approximately 8 feet deep at the end of the 12 footer and approximately 10 feet deep on the outside curve of the 16 foot tall aqua dam. The contractor is planning to raise the water levels 3 additional feet to allow for increased power generation downstream. So 10 plus 3 is 13 feet. A 16 foot tall aqua dam is only rated to control about 11 feet of water depth. The contractor has a backup dam on site which will be installed in the work area to, uh, to give better support to the 16 footer uh, against higher than anticipated or rated water depth control.